Okay, I'm back. Yes, in the same outfit. <laughs> it's Black History Month. Power to the people. Um, I'm recording when I can, because y'all know I'm not at home often. I can't record often. So we're going to just go ahead and knock them out. That's what we're going to do. Um, it's definitely like midnight and I'm doing this, so I fuck with y'all for real because I'm tired of shit. But um, I got a problem. I got a problem and I wanted to bring it to y'all attention because that's what I do. <laughs> okay, I bring racist shit to people's attention and this definitely pissed me off. It's probably gonna piss you off too. <laughs> if you a real one, I'm letting you right. I'm, I'm letting you know right now. It's it's probably gonna piss you off. Cause it definitely pissed me off, and it's still pissing me off, and it's probably gonna piss me off again when I play the video. Um, so I might get loud. Um, cause I get passionate about these types of things. Okay, I cuss a lot, a lot, a lot, like a whole lot. I, I say fucked up shit. I use the word fuck a lot. So if you don't like that, then you might want to go ahead and get off this video. Okay, but if you still here, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Okay, I know y'all gonna show me some love. I know it. I know it. It's happening. It happened. See, if you've been watching the videos for a while, you already know where that came from. You already know where that came. You already know I do that every time. So I got a problem with this black team versus the white team in the fight at the mall. I don't know, some of y'all may have seen the story, some of y'all may have not. Um, it, it, I'm just now seeing it, and I was scrolling through the dirty streets of YouTube and came across it, and um, I had to bring it to y'all attention. Okay, so we're going to play a little bit of the CNN video, just a tad, just, just a couple minutes, because it's an eight-minute long video. I don't need the rest of it. I just need the part that's going to piss me. <laughs> and I laugh because I be mad. <laughs> I be trying to I be trying to calm down so I laugh to keep from getting pissed off. Like even more pissed off. Okay, so let's go ahead and play that video. So I want you to sit down and watch this as well. Two teenagers getting into a fist fight last week. And I might pause it. Probably pause to break it. it up. The black teenager was held to the ground and handcuffed while the white teenager wasn't and it is sparking outrage and actions of racial bias. As you should. Athena Jones has more on the story. Accusations of racial bias. Look it. Look it. Between a pair of teenagers, one black, one white, at a New Jersey mall. A now viral video shows the teens having a heated discussion. Nigga, you put you put your you put your finger that's entitlement. That's entitlement. Look at his haircut. You know that nigga racist. He for sure racist. Like, he definitely racist. Like, he definitely got a Confederate flag at home. Look at this. This bullshit. Look at My God. This, if this ain't a lot of bullshit... Okay, hold on. Pause, 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 pause. Stop the motherfucking press. First of all, couple of things before I keep going. I told y'all I was going to pause it. If you got a problem, I don't care. Um, Let's get into the fact that the white boy had his finger in the black boy's face. This what you not going to do. This what you not going to do. You not going to do this to me. When you talk to somebody like this, that's the ultimate disrespect. You don't talk to nobody like this. If you talk to somebody like this, then that's a threat. You choosing violence. And I'm going to choose violence with you. Because what you're not going to do is put your finger in my face. I don't give a damn what color you are, what, what race, what gender. I don't give a damn. You're not going to put your finger in my face. Because I don't know what that finger going to do. You might fuck around poke my eye out. I ain't got time. Because I don't even do that to people. Like, I, me and Rodney was talking about that. And it's the ultimate disrespect. I don't even do that to him. If I'm fussing, I don't give, I'm never going to talk to you like this. This is disrespectful. That ain't show nothing but entitlement and racism and all kind of disrespect. 
That nigga racist. Look at his haircut. Look at his haircut. The haircut look familiar. I know it's blurred out, but what that what the haircut look like? Who that haircut remind y'all of? Let's see. Let's see how many people gonna get this right. Cause last time I checked, Dylan Roof had that same goddamn fucked up bowl cut. Like his he he for sure racist. Like he for sure got a Confederate flag at home. Definitely. And you was you was I, I could tell by this. <laughs> this right here, you ain't got no respect. He probably do this to his mama. He ain't got no respect. And the black dude sitting there holding your hand. Because nigga, if you poke me in my motherfucking eye, my face, if you touch me in any way, we got an issue. He said, get your hand out of my face. We be trying to warn y'all. And then the white boy proceeds to push him. Nigga, you done fucked up. You put you put your hands on me. Because at this point, it's self-defense. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. Because what they gonna try to play it as, because the black dude grabbed his hand, he touched him first, and it's not self-defense. No, I'm defending myself because he could very well poke me in my eye. He could do one of these. I don't know what you're gonna do. Like you look aggressive. You 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 you're a little tense. You look like you're gonna put your hands on me. I'm not gonna give you that opportunity. No, I'm not gonna give you that opportunity. I gotta do some type of defense. And my defense was to hold your goddamn arm. Because where you think is going. And then I gave you a warning and you pushed me and the fight broke out. That's problem number one. That's just problem number one. Problem number two, it's Cliff. It's in the title. Y'all didn't, so the George Floyd shit just didn't teach y'all nothing. Here we go with the knee shit. Here we go with the knee and the neck and the back shit. And I'm, I'm so ashamed. It's a woman. <laughs> like... The way you tackled him, for one, the way the, the male officer attacked him, that, that little boy, y'all knocked over the thing, the table. He his, his head hit the table. Like, why did you feel the need to throw him to the ground, but the white boy just got pushed back and, and held with one of these? What the fuck is this supposed to do? What? what? Hey, y'all ain't put him in handcuffs. He's sitting there pointing. Like, I bet you he was saying, that black boy attacked me. He attacked me first. I had to defend myself. I can, he's, there, there you go with that finger shit. So because he black, y'all felt the need to tackle him to the goddamn ground. So because he's black, y'all felt the need to be that aggressive, put him in handcuffs, and put your goddamn knee on the back of a fucking child. I don't care if he's a teenager. He's a child. Have we not learned anything? When, 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 are, when are we going to do better? Like, this shit got to stop. This shit has to stop. Let me keep going a little bit. I just... Oh. And then you gonna get up a, and then you gonna get up and look at the shit like, bruh, bruh. If <laughs> you got some balls on you, then you stood up and looked down at him. The entitlement. And, and the officers just going to let him do it. Y'all do realize when y'all got there, both parties were aggressive. They were fighting each other. This is absolute racism, period. It ain't no way around that shit. Y'all decided in y'all mind that the black boy was more of a threat because he's black. Because they already label us and think we're strong, we animals, we scary. So y'all pretty much was like, oh my God, the white boy's in danger. Like, it's a nigger beating him up. Like, we have to stop this. Put him in handcuffs. 
We can't, he's an animal. He has to go in handcuffs. We can't just sit him down because he's gonna fucking lose it. <laughs> like, that's what the fuck y'all did. Why y'all let the white boy just, just move freely. Do y'all not realize that he a threat too? So what would have happened had while y'all was fucking with the black boy putting your knee in his back and shit and trying to fucking throw him around and arrest him, what would have happened now that y'all got this free white boy if he'd have jumped on all three of y'all? Because y'all left him loose. He was loose. Like he could have very well jumped on all three of y'all. Because believe it or not, they more crazy than we are. They label us as animals, but they're the real animals. And he probably learned that shit from his daddy, his grandpa, his great-grandpa, that nigga racist. Off the rip. Off top. With balls. <laughs> like, why are you fucking with him in such a capacity? I just, I don't understand it. You think? Look at this pole, baby. Look at this pole, baby. I was kind of, like, confused. Like, well, why is on me as a bad person? Like, I, I me mean, as a, like, aggressive person. Right. 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 Look, at, look at them. There go the finger. There go the finger. See? Mm -mm. Self-defense. Off the rip. Self-defense. Look at how they slanging him around. That's right, baby. Deal with the situation at all. Period. Hell, even the officer got a racist cut. I don't like it. Look at this shit. He is 14 years old. Nigga, you ain't surprised. Shut the fuck up. Period. And saying despite years of talk about Ain't pending shit. Remove them. When Bridgewater police found two youths fighting, the immediate reaction was to aggressively throw the black child to the ground. At the same time, the white youth was carefully eased onto a Carefully eased. It's very obvious. Kai's mother, Ebene, telling WCBS, Maybe they could have broken up the fight and maybe set them aside and call their parents. No cuffs, no aggression. Dealt with them like they were teenagers. Because that's what they were. Now look at how the white boy just sitting there free and y'all got him in handcuffs. And I do want those two cops to become unemployable. That's what I would like. The Bridgewater Township Police Department. I'm going to end it right there. <laughs> Baby, we all want to see them go to jail and lose their job. Like, I, I just don't understand why y'all felt the need to handle that baby like that. See, that mama's strong. That mom was strong. Because I'd have been the stereotype crazy black woman mama that would have been cutting the fuck up. She calm as hell. I, it, couldn't have, it couldn't have been me. I'm choosing violence. I'm choosing violence. Like, I come from the era where um, I'm going to fight you and your kids. Like, if you put, let me tell you how Melissa roll. You put your hands on me, she not playing them fucking games. Like, she, she coming to wherever we are and gonna whoop the kid ass and they parents. Like, you, I come from that era. The hands is rated E for everybody. It, I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. I got to give all the respect to my good sis because I, it couldn't have been me. <laughs> like, it couldn't have been me. Like, I like the way they handled the situation because... They went against the stereotype that black people, especially black women, are aggressive. Look at that baby. Come on now. Come on now. And he was defending his friend. I went to jail twice for doing that. <laughs> like, are you serious right now? It's not what, I'm sorry. I, not my child. No. No, 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 no. No, no, no. I come from that era. It's just, that's, that's my background. That's where I come from. We don't play them games. 
No, I'm whooping the kid ass. I'm whooping your ass for raising his disrespectful ass. Everybody got to get their ass whooping. I'm choosing violence. I'm choosing violence. I'd have been up at the mall, at the jail cell, at the, wherever y'all at. I comes to the schoolhouse, <laughs> all that. I'm there. It's happening. I'm there. Like, the whole situation was just fucked up. Because what... I hate the assumption that because he's black, he automatically has to be handled that way. He's still a teenager. Like the mama said, you handle them like teenagers. And if you do feel like they pose a threat to your life, because, you know, that's always the excuse they use. I was in fear for my life. Like my uncle's a police officer. He's a chief deputy. And he has white officers under him. They're sergeants. Harrison, I fucks with you. They train different. My uncle don't play that shit. That's not how you break that shit up. He to grab both of them, did one of these, and told them to hey, hey, y'all, y'all calm down now. And if you you if you don't calm down, then it's gonna be some trouble. That's just that's just how he rolled. I don't feel like y'all always got to pick aggression. Like, why 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 y'all got to do that? Why it always got to be the knee in the back, pull out the gun, pull out the taser? Like, and y'all just do it to us. But the white folks be the crazy motherfuckers out here. They be running around naked. They be killing people and shit. Murdering motherfucking families in their house. And y'all just let them walk around. They be high on drugs. Y'all just let them run around do what the fuck they want to do. Y'all scared of them. For real. Like, as in, I'm not going to touch you, shoot you, tase you, or anything like that because I'm in fear for my life. Hold up. Wait a minute. Let me get this. You in fear for your life when it comes to the white person. And I actually have a video on that, so I'm going to need you to go back to that We Matter series and watch that. You in fear for your life when it comes to the white person because he just that crazy. And you don't shoot him, you don't tase him, you don't attack him, none of that. But when a black person do it, and they just be sitting there, being black, now you got to pull out the gun, you got to call 10 motherfucking officers, you got to pull out the taser, you got to throw them around, you got to put the knee in the back, you got to toss them around, damn near hit their head all in the concrete or whatever's in the vicinity like that goddamn table. And y'all got to do all that? For what? Age don't matter. Age don't matter. I tutor a, a black boy, a young black boy in fourth grade, and I am teaching him right now about his history. We are reading about MLK, Rosa Parks, Coretta Scott King, Ruby Bridges, and I have to find a way to explain to him because, even, yes, he has phenomenal parents, but we all work together. I've been tutoring him and being in his life for a while. I have to find a way to explain to him the society that he's growing up in. Because the other day, when we were reading about Martin Luther King, he said to me, I would have told him to shut up and leave me alone. I said, baby, it wasn't that easy, and it still ain't. That you'll end up in jail or dead. It's, it's, it's not that easy, honey. And it, it's a shame we got to have them conversations. It's a shame that because of the color of our skin, we are in danger every time we walk out the house. I don't give a damn how light skinned I am, I'm still black. My mama black, my daddy black, my family black, my ancestors black. I'm still black. So my life is still at risk. Because that's a whole nother video in itself when we talk about colorism. Oh, girl. <laughs> like, I just, I. Lord Jesus, I can't. I can't. I'm over it. And I'm going to have to bring y'all something funny if I haven't already did a Karen reaction. Or just some funny shit, a car motivation, me cutting the fuck up in between. Because we not already talked about Sha'Carri. Now we talking about this shit. I know it's a little hard on you. Like, you know, I know it's, 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 it's hard to deal with. 
<laughs> like it to all my love gangers out there. Y'all seen how Natalie reacted. Them not her type of videos. I can see her blood pressure rising in her face. <laughs> but I love you so much for doing that Karen reaction. Like, I really been asking for that. That's my thing. Like, I get mad, my blood pressure go up, but I'm still able to call the shit out. Because that's what I do. And everybody don't have to do that. Because let me tell you. It, Natalie ain't got to do them videos to support black people, baby. She supports them all the time. Y'all know how we get down over here. So, you don't have to always use your voice and be loud as fuck like me. It's other ways to be supportive to the African American community. Hell, you can walk around like that. Go get you one of these. Go get you some earrings. Okay? Get you... I got all this from a black vendor. Like, it's, it's, it be that simple. Buy a product. Subscribe to a channel. Just, I, this some fuck shit. And I'm praying for that baby and his mama. I hope them officers get fired. They need to have their asses thrown in jail. But as we know, the justice system is not on our side. So I hope the mama sue. I hope she go to every motherfucking news channel, do every press release. I won't get the story out. Your damn right is outrage, as it should be. Cause I'm outraged. It's fucking ass shit. <laughs> but that's that's all I got for y'all for this video. Again, it's Black History Month. Power to the people. Um, we out here being black, but all 365 days of the year. All right. So I will see y'all in the next video, and I'm gonna not be as aggressive. Maybe. It depends on how I'm feeling. But you fuck with me anyway, so it don't matter. <laughs> I love y'all, man. Oh my God. Stay safe out here. You know what I mean. Until next time. Bye.